So I fabricated these brackets to mount to where the seat belts used to mount in the ceiling. And then they're covered by the little plastic piece that hid the top of the seat belt. So we're going to use the same bolt, hook it to the ceiling. And then I'll use this Velcro and rivet to attach a Velcro loop here. So then I can hook a three quarter inch dowel rod onto either one to make a curtain rod to cover the back big windows that can also be removed when I don't want it up there. There they are, ready to mount to the ceiling. First one, mounted. There's the second one mounted. Now I'm gonna put this plastic back up and see what size dowel I wanna use. Oh, they're hidden up in there. So you can't even see them. Curtains are in. Ready curtain. This is the test curtain. It velcros up under that seat belt mount. This doesn't seem to move at all while we're driving. With the trial run of the new curtain, I discovered that the angle of the wall makes it so the curtain has a gap at the bottom. So I'm going to add magnets to the back and then plink, it'll stick to the wall at three different spots and make it hold tight when it's closed. And then I'm also going to shorten these straps up so that it rolls up a little bit tighter to the ceiling. Prototype curtain is almost done. They work so good you can't see anything in here. So that's good. So the curtains are lined. On the back I sew these little pockets that have magnets in them. And then the magnet sticks to the metal that we will leave exposed just around the window when we put the new side wall in. And then it holds the curtain back, since the wall is sloped, it was uh, leaving a gap at the bottom. And then when you're ready to drive, you just roll them up and there's little snaps under here. You snap that around the roll and it's ready to go. I've been driving with this temporary curtain before I finished it in the van for the last week. It doesn't make any noise. It hasn't really shifted around. I gotta get this side still. And then I gotta figure out the little square windows. All around. There's six of them. Plus the windshield and the two passenger windows. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for all that yet. One more quick thank you to my friend and coworker Alex for the super awesome new graphics for the van. It's gonna look pretty sweet rolling down the road as it gets more and more fun accessories on the outside of it. That's what we got so far. The ladder has been ordered. We're waiting on confirmation from Illumines before they send it out. Well, that's about it for this video. 
thanks for watching and uh, I will have the second curtain hopefully in a tutorial on my blog which you can get to through our YouTube channel home if you want there's a link there I think next I will be attempting the square window covers maybe I don't have enough fabric to make the other big window curtain yet because it took me two tries to get this one right. So unless I can reuse that first one somehow, I'm going to have to go back to the fabric store. But that's it for now. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like our videos. Thank you.